It's good to be back in Midland. Uh, I traveled through here last fall during the campaign on my bus tour, and everywhere I went, I heard about one important issue that every voter talked about. They wanted property tax relief for their homes. Right now, uh, the Texas Senate has passed a bill that will give twelve to fourteen hundred dollars every year as part of a one hundred thousand dollar homestead exemption. The House has a plan that spreads the property tax across every business, every shopping center, every factory, even people who live out of state who own property. And by doing so, that dilutes what the homeowners would get. Under the House bill, they get seven hundred and forty dollars a year, and it's not guaranteed every year. Our bill is twelve to fourteen hundred and fifty dollars every year and that will be guaranteed under the Constitution because you'll have a chance to vote on it. So I'm going around the state fighting for homeowners. We have five point seven million homeowners and we're fine with giving some of the tax cuts to business as well. It's good for them but homeowners homeowners need the help and I want you to know that as Lieutenant Governor we're not going to give up the fight with the Texas House. We're not going uh, to walk away from your $100,000 home exemption. I want you to think about that for a second. So our $100,000 home exemption, if you live in a $300,000 home, now you're paying property taxes on a $200,000 home. You can do the math, 400 to 300. If you live in a 250, you're down to 150. That greatly reduces your property taxes. The house so far is not supporting the $100,000 home exemption. So I'm going all around the state fighting for that tax cut for our 5.7 million homeowners, 40% of which are seniors, by the way. Uh, in terms of the session in general, we had a very successful session, uh, made a lot of progress on a lot of issues. One of the things I'm proud of is we've invested several billion dollars into mental health care facilities, and Midland will be the benefactor, as will Amarillo, of getting hundreds of hospital beds uh, for mental health care that have never existed before. Um, we also have put $350 million into rural Texas law enforcement. So in the counties ar ar around Midland, uh, where we have sheriffs that are underpaid and deputies are underpaid, uh, we're now raising the, the uh, average salary, or the, the, I'm sorry, we're raising the minimum salary for sheriffs to 75000 for deputies to the low 40000 for jailers, DAs, investigators. So we're investing a lot in rural Texas um, because rural Texas deserves it. Uh, on the culture front, uh, we passed a bill ending uh, gender uh, uh, modification. Uh, many people called that um, that surgery a child abuse, and I agree. We've ended drag queen shows for kids, um, and uh, we, for the first time ever, in the first state, we have passed a bill on tenure for college professors. Um, college professors have the only guaranteed job in the state of Texas, and now schools will have the opportunity to fire them for cause if they're not doing their job. So a lot of things happened this session, uh, big investments uh, from, our, from, our, um, from our surplus. And for those in the oil and gas industry, one of the biggest things to, uh, to focus on is we must have more dispatchable power. Uh, and that means we, meet, we need more natural gas plants. Uh, wind and solar are fine, but we have too much of it right now. And for example, this week, we're going to have the biggest load on our grid we've ever had, 80,000 megawatts. Well, we only have about 55,000 megawatts of natural gas. So if the wind's not blowing on Friday, those conditions are tough. So we put a five, a five billion dollar package. Let me say that again. So we put a five billion dollar package of incentives for people to build more natural gas plants uh, to assure up our grid for the future. So a lot of things happen, but my main reason for being here today is I want the people of West Texas to hear clearly: the Lieutenant Governor, um, I am not backing down from getting your hundred thousand dollar homestead exemption and your twelve to four hundred and fifty dollar tax cut. It's almost twice as high as what the House offers. So that's what we're focused on and that's what we're going to deliver. And the Texas Senate, by the way, voted for it unanimously. So it's not just Dan Patrick, it's the entire Senate is fighting for your homestead exemption and the biggest property tax cut ever given, twelve to fourteen hundred dollars a year for the rest of your life uh, in the history of Texas. Yeah, Questions? Uh, didn't you guys originally start off at seventy thousand so it's really so it's really interesting. We passed a bill for seventy thousand for everyone under sixty-five and a hundred thousand for everyone over sixty-five. The House said we'll make the seventy a hundred. So they went to a hundred. They passed it unanimously, a hundred and forty-seven to nothing, and now they don't want to do it. So I don't know if it was all for show back then or what. But we like that sound of 100,000 for everyone, and that's where we are. And, and let me explain this. 
um, without getting complicated. Both the House and the Senate have $17.6 in our budgets for property tax cuts. They want to give 100% of that to homeowners and businesses. So when you spread it all out to everyone, homeowners get less. We want to give 70% to homeowners and businesses, but the 30% focused on your homestead exemption. And that's why our plan gets you a much bigger tax cut than the House plan. Mm -hmm. Governor Abbott hasn't expressed publicly, at least to my knowledge, whether or not he'd veto or be in favor of a homestead exemption. At any level, have you talked to the governor or Speaker yep. Phelan uh, recently? I talked to the governor last week. We met for about an hour and a half. And he said he would sign any bill that the House and Senate agree on. So he hasn't said he's for the homestead exemption. He hasn't said he's against it. But here's what I think I know about him or any governor. What governor would veto a bill giving every homeowner a $100,000 homestead exemption and a twelve dollars to $1,400 tax cut or more compared to only getting a $740 tax cut? And the homestead exemption is permanent in the Constitution. So I, I can't imagine he would veto it. And, uh, and the, the, the troubling thing is this special session, and people out there, they don't care about the process and how the Senate and House work together. They just want to get their tax cut, and that's why I'm not quitting on that. Uh, we're not backing up. Look, if we can't get people their $100,000 homestead exemption, then there won't be a tax cut for anybody. I'm not, I'm not giving billions of dollars in tax cuts to businesses and leaving the homeowners left out of it. They're just not going to do that. And they would be part of that other plan, but a small part. We want to give them the $100,000 home exemption. Let me tell you what, to the average family, $100 of tax-free money every month for the rest of their lives is meaningful. And uh, that's what we're fighting for. Uh, do you, uh, I, I'll tell you what, when we're finished, I'll do a quick thing for you so you can catch up. Uh, any other questions from you all? Uh, yeah, with the House adjourned, yeah. don't you guys, doesn't another special session need to happen for you guys to get this done? Yeah, I think I, uh, yeah, you know what, I, th I thought uh, I was getting ready to go down that path. Uh, so the, the folks don't care about our process. Uh, they just want to get the tax cut. But here's what happened. The special session lasts 30 days. The House gave us a bill with no homestead exemption and about five to $700 a year or less for homeowners and said, take it or leave it. And they left. They worked three hours and left. We've been working every day. We're now into the 15th day of the 30-day session. We keep working in the Senate. They can come back at any time. And I'm, you know, I'll be honest, they need to get their butts back in Austin and go to work. Because right now, there's no one there to send a bill to. And we're not taking their bill. Let me be very clear. We are not going to pass a property tax cut bill of $17.6 billion without a homestead exemption. We're just not going to do it. Yes, sir. And, uh, forgive me on this point. I yeah. may be wrong, but doesn't the uh, homestead exemption ultimately have to be put to voters on the November ballot? Can't, can't yeah, be? Well, yeah, well, let me tell you, so the homestead exemption would be on the ballot in November, and that's why we have to get it done sooner or later, because we have to get the language for the ballot. You can't wait till September to pass this bill. It has to be sooner than later. That's why the House needs to get back to work. Um, but the last homestead exemption, which was two years ago, when we increased it from four, from twenty five to 40000 it passed with 84.9% of the vote. So there's no question that people out there are going to vote for a big tax cut. Yes, sir. Uh, that House you know, back? for all I know, he's on vacation. He, le he left two weeks ago. I don't know where he is. Um, all I know is their plan is not a good plan for homeowners. The Senate plan is, and uh, we're not backing up from it. Thank you for the question. Uh, let me, uh, are you all done? Are you good? I'm just going to repeat to him what, what some of the things we talked. Sure, I just got one, I just got yeah. one more. Sure. You go and speak to you know, homeowners, especially in Midland, and they talk yeah. about their property yeah. taxes going up in the past right. few years. You know, they see the, the politics behind it. Right. Your campaign, I think, sending out text messages on yeah. behalf of Senate members. Right, right. Speaker Phelan's campaign, the right, office right. of the House members. Right. Uh, they just want the property taxes done. You got it. They just, look, the homeowners want the biggest tax cut they can get. And the biggest tax cut they can get is the Senate plan, which gives them a $100,000 homestead exemption and a $1,200 to $1,450 or more cut. And the House, quite frankly, in what they're sending out, they are misleading people when they say this is the biggest tax cut ever. We both have $17.6 in the budget. So both sides, they're the same. It's how you spend the money. And they want 100% spread out to homeowners and businesses across the board, which means everyone gets less. And we want 70% to homeowners and businesses, but that extra 30% to 
going to the homestead exemption. So you can't argue with the math. And as I said, they already passed this once, 147 to nothing, and now they're pulling it back out. They just need to go back and pass it again. Hey, thank you all. Appreciate it. Yeah.